Sunday evening, right? Uh, so the first thing, of course, is see we were saying that till we have some supporting data from both charts and FII, it's a little tricky to be anything other than short. But it seems a few things have changed since the last time we met. The no number one thing is that on Nifty weekly charts, we actually have a bullish harami. What's a bullish harami? There's a red big candle and there's a green candle inside the red candle like this, right? And this is the formation which has formed here. Now, the theory says that if the close of this week is above the close of, uh, if the close of next week is above the close of this week, then we'll have continuous bullishness is what theory says. So this could be a potential reversal signal if this week's close is above the last week's close, right? So we have formed a bullish harami pattern here. Number one. Number two, we have a, on the chart, there are two things which are looking strong. One is this thing is above the middle of this channel. Second is it has gone back above the breakout zone, the trend line connecting this top, this top and you know, so there could be, so there could be a potential reversal in Nifty is the long story short. Nifty forming a bullish Harami reversal pattern, potential bullish reversal. Bank Nifty is not forming a bullish harami, but it is forming a green candle, maybe almost a bullish piercing because it's almost reaching the, I mean, it's almost reaching the middle of, so let's just do a, a proper analysis, right? So the O oh my O oh is 43822, 43782 is the close. So somewhere on 43, um, it's a 40, 50 pointer, right? O oh is 43822 and 42782. Um, so let's do this. 43. 822 was the last week's uh, last week's open 43831 uh, 43822 and the close was 42782 So 43302 is the level at which this becomes a bullish piercing and 43318 is the closing this week. Technically, technically this is a bullish piercing because if it closed above 43302, it is a piercing, it is uh, closing 43318. So this is a piercing. Bank Nifty forming a bullish piercing. potential bullish reversal. Both of them have a potential bullish reversal. Of course, Bank Nifty is also forming, Bank Nifty is also at the bottom of this channel, right? Uh, sorry, trend line, right? So there could be a uh, potential um, uh, reversal taking support here. It's also above the 50 DMA. So multiple things are looking good on charts. Dollar, interestingly, is cracking from the top. So dollar range bound, but clear rejection from 83 30-ish levels potential downside now let's go to option chain before going to option chain let me just quickly Momin is asking why am I ignoring double top in bank nifty because here I don't think it's a double top where is the double top how is it a double top yeah, okay. Moment. Thanks for asking that question, dude. This is not a double top because double top has to be separated at least by six months. So, see, uh, technically, technically, aise aap dekhoge, to see, even this is a double top, right? I can say this is a double top, yaha pe double top aya. Or I can say, boss, yaha pe double top aya. 
or i mean see i can i say to i'll only see double top every time a dip happens right but the point is in double top it has to be separated at least by 6 months otherwise any two you know uh, so for example i can say <coughs> this is a double top right i mean not precisely but basically you can't say this is a double top because at least from what i have read and learned about double top this separation between the two tops at least has to be 6 months is what they say right i mean please correct me if i'm wrong if you know uh, something which i have missed so oh. <coughs> that's one uh, option three uh, plenty of resistances exist above 19300 but 19200 has emerged as a strong support uh, so mixed actually 19200 support resistance 19300 and above pcr is 0.7 that is pretty much neutral fi option data is where interesting stuff starts if i sold 40k calls but sold 50k puts net net they are bullish if i futures data 1000 crores buy that's also bullish but net outstanding oi is around 160k short right 160k short but it's reduced a little bit around 7 8% stock data there seems to be some respite in selling they have not sold much uh, 12 cr sell ignore verdict maybe we can see a reversal here uh, trade long with small position size and limited risk uh, uh no point in shorts because there is a reversal possibility open fi data has also changed so because of all these reasons i don't think it's a good idea to short here the question is how long can the upside last see at the very least right this can go and test the top of this channel that is around uh around 19500 types can happen right because 9500 on spot can happen because that's where the first resistance comes in which is the top of this channel right so i i don't think it's a good idea to short here maybe we can see it testing 19500 kind of levels maybe after that it can come down uh, and then so possibly right one thing which can happen is we'll have a gap up opening and then this will test here it will come down and if it's we are able to close above the last week's close this week then we'll have a confirmation to doji and probably we can break out right that's one possibility the other possibility of course is it goes up tests here takes resistance and falls down and if it falls down it can again take support here so i'll say there are more than one possibilities here but as of now i'd like to stay slightly long with limited uh, bet size purely because i think we are past the middle of the channel we are um, forming a bullish reversal pattern on the weekly fi data is turning multiple things so maybe very but i don't want to take uh, big bets i'll probably take uh, bull put spreads um, with limited with small quantities right because see half the time everybody thinks the uh, decision we have to make is whether <laughs> we should be uh, uh long or short right uh, the question is not even whether we should be long or short the question is how much should the position size be so when you have a very high too many factors supporting you chart supporting you op open interest supporting you fi supporting you mass market in mega this thing then you can take like you know the, your normal position size but on an occasion like this probably take a smaller position size which is you know 100 lots i mean sorry i mean to say uh, uh, 10% of your uh, normal trading lots or something but uh, uh 
like 10 20 30 percent of your normal trading lots when there's uncertainty scale down when there is much more you know things telling you that you could possibly be right then scale up this is one of those occasions where i'd see on one hand i would love to think ki boss yolo this is where, what will happen it will take support here and then go up you know give you one last blow of the top 21000 types that's it whether it is my view or not it's a pretty responsible thing to say right because at the time it hits here if you are a technical analysis based trader then you have to exit your positions i'm not saying short exit your position because it could happen that after hitting this resistance which is around 9500 it could either do this that's one possibility the other possibility is it could do this right because these things happen trend lines can be broken channels can be broken now if you go back to long time back our analysis uh, we have always maintained the view that boss um, eventually nifty has to give one new all time high I, we don't know what it is maybe 21000 22000 who knows but looks like uh, as of now uh, it looked like it looks scary here so we stopped being bullish but from there there was clear reversal and now we are above the middle of the channel possibly we are going to test this maybe it will consolidate maybe it'll take a small dip maybe it'll go back down as a we don't know but at this point you can't be uh, long you have to at least exit your current position see the price action if this barrier is broken expect nifty to go up mega but if this barrier because that's a breakout right if this barrier is not broken and if it starts falling down then take a trade accordingly but right now, my if you ask me, my verdict is there's every possibility Nifty will test around 19,500. Uh, uh, and after that, we'll see what happens, right? Uh, let me quickly read some comments. Aniket is asking me, am I trading with 1,000? No, I don't even trade now because it's probably not worth it right i have all my money is in fd and g6 sorry so if i say all my money people think i have a lot of money i was giving the alpha leak today in twitter but uh, dilip is saying bull trap dilip see this could be a bull trap but the other possibility dilip is that um, this could have been a bear trap right so i don't know maybe this was a bear trap maybe this one was a bull trap but i have a feeling uh, uh maybe we are headed like see if you ask me my personal feeling maybe one last all-time high but as a responsible person appearing on this channel and giving you uh you know analysis based out of price action data etc 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 i can't say you are mariko feel i is along right that is irresponsible but as of now Purely based on data, there's an upside to 19,500 maybe. Uh, FI data is slightly turning. Chart has given bullish Harami. Uh, Nifty, Bank Nifty has given bullish piercing at a support. And that's very important, right? First, there's a support. Second, there's a bullish piercing. Third, it has broken the 50 DMA. There are so many things which are supporting Bank Nifty. And if Bank Nifty goes up, Nifty can't stay down because Bank Nifty is ultimately 40% of Nifty. So considering all these factors, I think we are at a temporary low we might just go like this and we might form all time high but that is just like i can't say that because that is just feels as of now objective data says there is a possibility of reversal nifty has multiple things which are showing reversal bank nifty has multiple things which are showing reversal bank nifty has a zone of support it has formed a so this is the zone of support the trend line it has formed a candlestick pattern which is reversal which is bullish harami and it has broken 50 dma all three are bullish so bank nifty nifty both of them are looking bullish i'd say let's go bullish and see how far this thing goes right uh, so also broke 50 em dma resistance so all things put together if i were trading now i would have been long but i decided to uh, honestly i'm thinking of a, an idea rehab for traders and i'm making myself the first experiment case for rehab uh, <clears throat> so yeah so praveen is saying i don't think the market goes up nothing technical but an inner voice yeah boy mera bhi inner voice is saying upar but i can't say inner voice in a in a 
uh, in an objective program which we have so painstakingly built or let me put it this way right all of us did not assemble for the last two and a half years every day doing this data shata because you know boss mereko feel i have nifty by cesar because that's not how it works right but um, by cesar i don't know but for sure we can test 90500 that's what it looks like and if it sustains there of course why not right the only thing which is kind of confusing me is this fi data mega short on futures but as you can see off late it has started turning and if this trend of turning continues we could be in for another repeat of uh, um so if you look at this right i think uh, august august uh, fi data futures was massively negative august or july i think july was massively negative right here somewhere it was like mega mega negative i think it was june maybe then and then it turned um yeah this was the one in march it was extremely negative and then it completely turned right so that can also happen right um so just because the fi data cumulative oa is negative now i won't be bearish i look at how it is changing and the change the delta seems to be positive at least it has started this is the first green shoot i would say chalo ek din at least they bought 13k futures i don't know if it will continue but we have to watch this space because this is the first first significant buy after ages right so i think there is a potential of a reversal let's see how this goes if this week close is also above last week's close then we have confirmed the bullish harami and we are headed to uh, a proper reversal right <clears throat> uh yeah so that is that uh, aniket is asking what is rehab rehabilitation de addiction aniket etc etc uh but <laughs> anyway i don't think everybody should trade every day so that's a different topic we'll probably talk about it uh, later so yeah this concludes our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual please take care and keep your capital safe